My dear brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the feast of St. Mary Magdalene. Her whereabout is known by her name, Mary Magdalene. The word Magdalene comes from Magdala. Magdala, a village little away from Jerusalem. So this Mary comes from Magdala, probably where it has been believed Jesus cast out seven demons from this woman, due to which she would have come to a house where Jesus was staying and washed the feet of Jesus with oil, precious oil. And this incident tells us that Jesus chose her for a particular ministry. Let's see who this woman was. Sometime it is construed that this woman could have been sister of Lazarus, sister of Martha. Sometime it is also believed that this woman could have been in sin. That's how Jesus forgave her and therefore she brought oil and uh, washed the feet of Jesus as ransom for her sins. Whatever has been said and believed, the name shows that she is from not Bethany, sister of Lazarus, but from Magdala, another woman, another Mary. And it is also said that this Mary followed Mother Mary together walking towards Calvary and she stayed with Mary, the mother of God, Jesus Christ, till the burial of Jesus. <coughs> she was at the Calvary too. So, keeping all these uh, facts in mind, Mary Magdalene from Magdala followed Jesus as gratitude for all that she received from this Rabboni, Rabbi, Master, Teacher, Jesus, and thus she remained faithful till the end. Now today's Gospel is one account that would tell us how close she was with Jesus. In all her spirit, in all her discipleship, she was loving Jesus so intimately that she had to go to the tomb of Jesus to put oil before the third day could get over. After the third day, any body would be totally uh, decomposed. That is what b was believed. So within three days, a body could be uh, anointed again and again with the oil that was a practice among the Jews. So Mary Magdalene, she took oil, went to the tomb to put oil for the body so that the body remains intact for some more days. That was her contention, that was her desire. So as she was going with that intent, here comes an event that shook her life. As she went and saw, the tomb was removed. That would have definitely taken her aback. And as per the account of the Gospel reading today, she went back to tell Peter, Simon Peter, saying, they have taken away the body. Either they were robbed away or taken away, but the body is missing because the stone is rolled out. And uh, Peter and John and other disciples would have definitely come along with uh, Mary Magdalene, but that is a different account, different uh, resurrection story. Whereas now, Mary Magdalene is given an independent, uh, uh, how do I say, identity with Jesus risen. So that is why this account is uh, taken in an isolated way, in a separate way. So that's how she is now seen back at the tomb.
Now, as she sees the tomb and she saw some men standing, angels, as John would say, and the angels asked her, uh, What are you doing? Why are you weeping? And she said, They have taken away my body, the body of my master. Please tell me where they have kept. And having said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing. So now the interaction between Mary Magdalene and angels got over. Now the other scene is Jesus standing here. It is a totally a dramatic scene, a totally a dramatic narration. It is totally a very scenic beauty that we could see at the tomb of Jesus. Uh, having Mary Magdalene in the center. Now she turns back and she sees Jesus standing that she was not able to identify even then. Because she did not uh, expect that Jesus was to be risen. So she never thought that Jesus was there standing, the risen Lord. So she mistook him uh, for a gardener and said, Sir, please tell me where they have kept the body or where you have placed the body, I would take it away. So once again, she said she, she would take it away, that we do not know why she had to take it away. Right? That means she would take care or she would nurse the body with the oil. That could be the understanding. Now, when the conversation was so short between Jesus and uh, uh, Mary Magdalene, it is here Mary opened her eyes and saw Jesus at the voice of Jesus saying, Mary, <clears throat> look at that, the personal voice like the shepherd calling name of a sheep and the sheep immediately recognizes the true and good shepherd and responds. That is the dialogue here. So Jesus, when, she, when he said, Mary, uh, probably her blood circulation would have been definitely so fast, she immediately got to her uh, cognition and said, my master, my Lord and my God, that could have been the word in all her astonishment, in all her shock, in all her uh, joy, in all her, uh, you know, that uh, peace that has come into her heart and said, Master. So that's how she uh, clasped or she clung to the feet of Jesus. This is one. That the other, Jesus says, do not hold on to my feet anymore but rather go tell my brothers that I am risen. This is mission mandate given to Mary Magdalene. In conclusion, my brothers and sisters, Mary Magdalene went and conveyed to the apostles that Jesus was risen and thus how she was chosen as a missionary. A woman also is a chosen as a disciple, as a missionary, to proclaim the world with the good news of the resurrection. That is what Mary Magdalene was. In understanding, all women folks are also called to be a missionary. They are also called to be special disciples. In order to convey the message of uh, the resurrection of Jesus, the good news of uh, uh, faith, the good news of salvation to the whole mankind. Let us thank God <clears throat> for what Mary Magdalene was and let all women of the church, of our church, take Mary Magdalene as an example, as a model in following Jesus till the end. Let us all pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for choosing Mary Magdalene. Whatever Mary Magdalene has been, what all that we could hear that she was following you till the end. She was a good disciple. She was a faithful disciple. And she too was a tool for uh, the mission teaching or evangelical work. Thank you Lord for all that she was. Today we beg of you to bless all women folks 
all mothers at home all daughters at home and all the religious women in all congregations all over the world that they may be a responsible missionaries for the good news of the resurrection that is the news of uh, salvation that's a news of joy and peace and good hope and bless all the religious today as we pray that they may stay committed in their ministry and love the ministry telling the good news to the people for their salvation that they also remain healthy and in peace and in joy and we make this prayer through the intercession of Mary Magdalene Amen.